Happy New Year and welcome to Chipola Chats. I'm Mary Mock and I'm here with Kurt McKinnis and we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, Poetry Cafe. Yes. Okay. All right. So how are you doing? Doing fine. How are you? Happy Good. New Year. <laughs> yes, you too. Yeah. Um, I guess start off, tell us a little bit about what's going on and, okay. and when it is and yeah. all that good stuff. Well, this is our fifth annual Chipola Poetry Cafe. It will be held on Thursday, April 4th at 7 p.m. over in the mm -hmm. Center for the Arts in the Experimental Theater uh, again this year. We did that our first year ever, and then we went back to it last year um, for the acoustics. It's really a, a good place mm -hmm. for what we're trying to do, and we're back there again this year. So uh, we're looking forward to being in there. Our poet this year uh, for the poetry lecture and, and reading of his own works is Rick Campbell, uh, who uh, is a Florida poet here and um, mm -hmm. and a teacher in various places, but he uh, has agreed to come over for us and and uh, talk about his poetic process, just like all the other uh, lecturers have done in the past. Uh, so we'll get his perspective. Uh, and normally the way it works is as they're lecturing, they'll throw in a poem here or there. So we'll see how he does it. He's he's got carte blanche about that. Uh, we we let him we let people say what they need to say. Um, and then after that, as we've always done, the really the second half of the evening is where local poets get up and read their own original works. And so that's always exciting, too. You know, we kind of get the professional and then the amateur and all in one big night. And uh, it's, it's uh, very... Uh, eye-opening and uh and a great cultural experience and there are a lot of there are a lot of good poets out there right here in our own little community okay. so it's it's a good thing i'm not one of them though so just <laughs> let you know so, you could uh, try <laughs> i don't know but yeah so uh if somebody's interested in participating yes uh, what do they need to do to sign up all right well on the screen you'll you'll see my email and my office phone number feel free to contact me at either one of those and uh, and just tell me you know that you would like to participate. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not an open mic. We we have shied away from that because it can turn into more than you want. Mm -hmm. uh, but if somebody would like to, we we won't turn anybody away. Okay. So they can just uh, contact me about that. Okay. So. And again, that's Kurt. You want to contact Kurt? Yep. Um, if you're if you just want to come experience it for the first time, oh, yeah. are there tickets or what do we no, need to do? Totally free. I mean, this right. is a great cultural event for free and, yeah. and, and our in our own community. You don't have to drive to another city. Uh, just come on and and come in and. Uh, it's, uh, you know, we, we'd love to have everybody, anybody okay. that wants All to right. come. Yeah. And again, that's in the Experimental Theater on April 4th. That's right. And Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Okay. There yeah. we go. Yeah. And we look forward to seeing everybody. If you have any questions, just reach out to Kurt. Um, we're glad to have you. And anything else? Uh, there will be door prizes. Okay. We have some, some books by the poet, and we are going to be drawing uh, tickets and giving those away that night. So come on out for a prize. Okay. Sounds Thanks. good. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you then.